So I've already done my base and I'm going to be going straight on with the eyes. I'm using Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. As we are using a lot of eyeshadows, we want something that's going to be a nice base for our eyeshadow to prevent it from creasing. So this is going to help it stay in place and last all day. The first colour I'm using is Swiss Chocolate by MAC. If you don't have this colour, use any rich warm brown eyeshadow that's matte finish. And then I'm using the E25 Rounded Top Blending Brush by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I'm going to be blending a light layer of that across the eyelid. We're going to keep this above the crease of our eye. The reason we do this is to create a transition shade. A lot of people ask why you can't just go in with the dark colour straight away. It's because you need to create a gradient. If you apply the dark shade, it's going to be very difficult to blend upwards. When you've got a slightly lighter shade or a lighter layer on your eye, then the colour is going to blend a lot easier and it will fade into this transition shade really nicely. So I'm working that in circular motions, building up a really soft matte brown finish across the crease of our eye. Next I'm taking NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to put that over the mobile eyelid and blend it in with my finger. Having a lighter base is going to help the colours that we're going to apply next be a lot more true to the colour that's in the pan. And the reason I'm blending with my finger is because the warmth of my hand is going to help blend the product into the skin. The first colour I'm taking is by Makeup Designery, also known as Mud, and this shade is called Pomegranate. On my MAC 239 brush, I'm applying that to the outer third of the mobile eyelid and I'm pulling that colour out in a small triangular shape. I'm also applying that on the inner third of the mobile eyelid and I'm leaving that middle section bare. These eyeshadows are so pigmented, I didn't have to layer it like I usually do in order to get the colour to really show through. Taking my MAC 219 pencil brush, I'm just fading the very edges of this eyeshadow. Blurring the scenes is going to help the transition of the next shade that's going in the centre. That colour is bronzed also by mud and on the other side of my 239 brush I'm applying that to the centre of the mobile eyelid. Again it's very pigmented so you only need a small amount and this will show up really well. Going back to my E25 brush and Swiss Chocolate by MAC I'm going to start working that through the socket again. Now we've got the base colours on our mobile eyelid we're going to go back in and start working the crease colour in. We want to intensify this outer corner and all the way across the crease. Next I'm taking some shadow shields, we're going to apply these underneath the eyes because we're going to be working with loose pigments and we don't want that to fall down on our base makeup. The ones I'm using are by Peaches and Cream, this one is called Secret and it's a really nice deep cranberry colour. On my MAC 219 pencil brush I'm going to be applying this over the area that we've applied the pomegranate eyeshadow. The reason we apply the eyeshadow as a base before we apply the pigment is so that we get that nice intensity, the pigment alone wouldn't be strong enough. The next colour I'm taking is called Wow and this is a really nice reflective bronze colour. On my MAC 239 brush I'm applying that over the area that we applied bronzed eyeshadow. As you can see this colour is super pigmented, it's absolutely beautiful, it really makes the eye look more rounded being right in the centre of the lid. I'm going back in with my pencil brush with a small amount of the secret pigment and I'm going to feather the seam of these two colours together. Don't forget to do the inner third of that mobile eyelid as well as the outer corner. On my Blank Canvas Cosmetics E27 Cute Mini Detailer Brush, I'm going to apply Swiss Chocolate by MAC underneath the lower lashes. Going back to my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'm applying that to the inner corners of the eyes to lighten this area before we apply our highlight. I'm using a clean E27 brush to blend that in. Over this I'm going to apply my Champagne Pop Highlighter by Becca Cosmetics. And again using the small detailer brush to apply this to that inner corner. I'm also going to apply a really small amount of that just on the very centre of the bronzed eyeshadow and the wow pigment that we've applied to the centre of the mobile eyelid. Using my Crown C207 Sable Angled Liner Brush and a little bit of the Swiss Chocolate by MAC, I'm applying that to the inner corners of the eyes but again I'm dropping that below the tear duct area by a couple of millimetres. This is really going to open up the eyes and help to make that highlight area really pop and become super eye catching. On the centre of our lower lash line I'm applying a small amount of NYX Pencil in Milk. This is just going to erase a little bit of that eyeshadow and help to lighten the area. And over that I'm applying some of that bronzed pigment by Peaches and Cream. Using my pencil brush I've also gone in with the Cranberry eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line and I'm applying what's left on the brush over the bronze one so we get an amalgamation of the two colours. Next I'm taking this matte finish eyeshadow called Semi Sweet by Mud. And on my pencil brush I'm applying this to the outer corner of the eye, just deepening that outer V shape. So I'm not taking the colour onto the mobile eyelid, I'm framing around it. We're keeping it that far out because we don't want to lose any of that cranberry colour on the mobile eyelid. 
we just want to deepen that smoke on the very outer edge. With my blending brush I'm working it in circular motions directly over the area the eyeshadow is. I'm not pulling it out too far because I don't want the eye to become muddy. The next eyeshadow I'm taking by Mud is called Canvas and this is an off-white matte eyeshadow. And on my F10 brush I'm applying a very small amount of that to the brow bone. You want this to be a very subtle matte highlight. Using my Krylon Pro Liner Liquid Liner in black, I'm going to line the top lid, winging it out towards the outer corner. Using a black liner like this is going to give you more drama. If you want something more subtle, then you can go for a brown or even an aubergine colour liquid cream or gel liner. If you do want to see how I apply my eyeliner up close, I do have a tutorial on how to apply eyeliner six different styles. Along my waterline, I'm applying Urban Decay's Eyeliner in Perversion. Again, you could go for something like a brown or even a gold colour. Moving on to lashes, I'm going to curl them using my Shulamura Eyelash Curlers. And I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I am still on the hunt for a new one, so thank you all for your recommendations. I really want to try the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, but I'm really struggling to get it in the UK. I can get it delivered by Sephora, but it costs an arm and a leg. So the hunt continues. Going back to my eye pencil, I'm going to tight line. This is really important if you want to create that nice smoky appearance. The lashes I've chosen to use are by House of Lashes in Noir Fairy. As with the eyeliner, I do have a tutorial on how to apply false eyelashes. And again, I will link that for you now. To add a little bit of balance to the face, I'm using Hoola by Benefit. And I'm applying that just above the hollows of the cheeks. The brush I'm using is by Zoeva and I think it's the 127 cheek brush. It will be linked below for you. For blusher I'm going to use NARS Orgasm Blush. The eyes are quite deep in colour so we want something a little bit more fresh to liven up our face. I'm using my F15 brush by Blank Canvas Cosmetics and I'm applying that to the apples of the cheeks and just pulling the colour back slightly. If you find it's too intense just go over that with your foundation brush. I'm lining my lips using Subculture Lip Pencil by MAC. I personally would always go for something nude with an eye like this, it's completely up to you. A matte lip would work really well as you've got reflective eyes or even a gloss. Krylon's Wave would look really lovely with this. Also Jay Manuel's, I think it's called Desire, it's very similar to Wave. Both of those would look lovely with this. Over the Subculture Lip Pencil by MAC I'm using Natasha Denona Wooden Rose Lip Gloss. And that completes the look. I really hope you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you don't want to miss any of my uploads, click on my channel and hit the little notification sign. Then YouTube will alert you every time I upload a video. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and they are all at Show Me Makeup. If you've missed my previous tutorials you can click on these now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!